Hi, I'm Adam Bartley with First Updates Now. We're standing here with Kaya and Connor and their 2023 robot, La Cucaracha. The supposedly indestructible robot, let's see how it stands up to a behind the bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. FRC competition season is here. Submit your favorite moments to FRC Clips of the Week by each Sunday at discord.gg slash first updates now. Also, the FRC Top 25 poll is open Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern to Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern, where you can vote for your top 25 teams of the week at firstupdatesnow.com slash FRC Top 25. So basically, we called it La Cucaracha because our goal this year was to be as indestructible as possible. Starting with our drive, space, drive base, the SDS Make 4i. We used these last year as well in competition, and they held up beautifully. On top, you'll see some of our custom electronics. Connor, would you like to talk about those? Yeah, sure. So we have four custom circuit boards on our robot. So to start, we have a custom encoder on top of our swerve modules. And what it does is it senses which direction the swerve module is facing. And it's, we found it to be better than the CTRE ones because it does not utilize the CAN bus, which means it's less wiring and less things on our CAN. Another one of them is what the encoder plugs into. It's kind of tucked in behind. And it is a SparkMax breakout board, and it allows us to both plug in the, our encoders along with other types of limit switches without having them break. Then we also have an MXP board on top of our Robo Rio, and what that allows us to do is plug in all sorts of different types of sensors and such into our Robo Rio and also have stuff not break. So I'm going to pass it back off to Kaya and she can talk about our amazing elevator. So next we have our elevator. It is a two-stage cascading elevator, but if you look at the top here, it's actually headless. And that's because our arm swings out and it would swing through the head if we had a top to the elevator. So we had to design the rigging so that it went inside and instead of ropes, we used belts because that also helps our robot be indestructible. So here we have our wire chain that's also mounted to the elevator. And then um, the elevator can go up pretty far. It reaches plenty far to the high uh, nodes. Um, and then here we have our arm. It's just mounted, it's, we have a static part of our arm and it's mounted to the elevator here. And then Connor actually designed this intake if he would like to talk about it. Yeah, so our intake has two sets of wheels. I'm gonna put it down. Okay. I'm, so our intake has two sets of wheels, and it goes down via the arm. And both wheels are powered separately via Neo, Neo motors on the arm. And so if we want them to spin opposite directions, they can pick up cones. Whereas if we want them to spin the same direction, we can pick up cubes. And another neat thing about them is all of our motors are tucked back inside of our arm, which means that we can have a lower cen center of gravity al along with having our center of gravity farther inside of the robot. So, yeah. So our uh, elevator can extend very high up and out, which allows us to reach our high cones and cubes. So your arm has a crazy packaging system. The way it folds inside, keeps that CG lower, and keeps a good hold on the game object. What was the process that kind of went into making a package back inside the robot instead of stowing in a, you know, a, sim, a single arm or something similar? Yeah, so we have, we've made it able to package inside the robot a big chunk by having our headless elevator because Without the headless elevator, we would not have been able to have the arm fold back inside the robot. And, yeah. Another issue we've also had, and we've struggled and made it way better, is we have these belt guards here because we used to be shredding cubes. And now we fixed that, and it's been great. Thank you, Connor. And then, um, 
You guys said that this was Project Cockroach. You really wanted to make an indestructible robot. We did see an unfortunate tip in Qualls earlier today. How did that damage your robot if it did damage your robot? It is free. So it was a bit of a freak accident, honestly. Basically, we were driving forward, and at the same time, our arm kind of flopped down a little bit, trying to get to the right set point. Um, so it did tip over on its front, um, nonetheless. But when we got back to the pit, they had already said, hey, we fixed it. And in fact, we fixed a few other things, too. So it's not just that the robot is 100% will never, ever break, but it's that when it does, it's maybe a 10-minute fix. We're never late to our next match, such as last year, we might have been broken for the next match. This year, um, the cockroach heals quickly, basically. So yeah, handing it back off. Okay. And then thank you. This was Team 4272, Maverick Robotics. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. The Charged Up competition season is here. We have a ton of live Twitch and YouTube content coming to you. All of our uploads and archives, including shows, behind the bumpers, finalysis, and more, are available at youtube.com slash firstupdatesnow. Check out all of our live shows on Mondays and Tuesdays at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.